It's easy to forget when you're somewhere like this, but the world has suffered from a series of global catastrophes, disasters that have wiped out 99% of all the species that have ever lived. But the forces that wiped out many of our ancestors are still at work today. All we have to protect us is a wisp of atmosphere, and all we have to stand on is a thin crust. Mankind could be the next dominant species to face extinction. This is the story of how vulnerable we really are. Our planet has been shaped by an endless cycle of destruction and renewal. The result, 99% of all the species that have ever lived are now extinct. But we tend to forget that the very forces that created all this havoc are just as powerful as ever. We've been lucky so far. We humans haven't been confronted by a truly global crisis yet. But history reveals that we're much more at risk than we might think. Another big one could be just around the corner. To understand the sheer scale of Earth's four and a half billion year history, imagine it as the 24 hours on a clock. Earth formed at midnight. Just nine minutes later, disaster struck. Our planet collided with another. But Earth survived and life evolved. Then at 8.30 p.m., another disaster. The entire planet froze over. 10.40 p.m., massive volcanic eruptions poisoned the planet. Life was nearly wiped out. And at 11.38 p.m., a giant asteroid killed off the dinosaurs leading to the rise of the mammals. It was only in the closing minutes of the day that our planet became a place we'd recognize. Finally, at under a minute to midnight, a tough new species marched towards world domination. They spread rapidly, adapting to every challenge. This new species was Homo sapiens, us. 85,000 years ago, we were just heading out of Africa. Today, we're everywhere. This is the story of what happened since humans walked the planet. And it shows just how vulnerable we really are. Again and again, our ancestors confronted catastrophes. All of them were different, but any one of them could have stopped human civilization in its tracks. The first disaster struck India 74,000 years ago. Today, evidence for this event can be found in the most unlikely place, inside the cells of our bodies. The story of the human race is written in our genes. Our genes control not only what we look like, they also record evidence of past disasters. For geneticist Stephen Oppenheimer, it's a crucial clue. As you move away from Africa, the overall genetic diversity uh, reduces in different populations until you get to the uh, Native American populations which have the least diversity of, of all. But there is one place where there's an anomaly, that's India. In India, genetic diversity is much, much lower than it should be. Oppenheimer believes some kind of disaster must have struck India's early settlers something so severe that their descendants' genetic diversity is still affected today. Whatever it was, this ancient disaster came close to wiping out the whole subcontinent. It 
it's difficult to estimate the size of reduction, but it might have been down to about 600 people in the whole of India. Whatever struck India, it was absolutely devastating. Something powerful enough to wipe out most of the population. There is, of course, a very obvious catastrophe, um, which uh, is clearly dated uh, in, in, in the right time zone, and that is Toba. Toba is an Indonesian supervolcano. Its last eruption is described by volcanologists as mega-colossal. That's as big as it gets. The date, 74,000 years ago, the estimated time of the Indian disaster. Was it a coincidence? Or was it the catastrophe that nearly killed off India's people? <laughs> 